this this reference saffron raw and uh, skin rubbing against skin even in a far off different realm your skin anchored you to this earth so is your skin anchored you to this earth so you are anchored to this earth earth for example is a is a ship okay or is a, uh, a place where your body has been anchored to and uh, uh, when uh, two people met they loved they were in intimacy out of that out of the reproductive uh, out of the reprodu reproduction which is inbuilt in all or in all the human beings and that's one of the purposes for which the nature has sent you and for you also it is one of the purposes that you propagate your species so your skin anchored you to the earth amidst all that pervading emptiness amidst all that pervading emptiness the earth and when you are born the first breath that you take in the on the planet is phenomenal because it is not that you start breathing inside your mother's womb but uh, when you are delivered the very next fraction of second you you breathe your your lung you know is filled with air and for the first time your you you have a sensation that gives you a feeling of 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 your arrival nobody understands it outside you and you also forget but that is there in you so your skin anchored you to the earth made us all that pervading emptiness touch retained is sensuality so touch touch retained its sensuality what is so important here is that she does not undermine the vitality or the significance of the body in the human existence in a way she is putting the idealistic philosophy upside down idealistic means where idea is more important than the body in which idea lives here this body is this body is the most complex book it's more complex than ideas than chain of ideas and how these ideas will work rather the body is made up of the elements of the cosmos so that's where uh, the point uh, is putting these words in this point you will have known this or if you thought more varietly about taste about taste you would discount it as the touch of the tongue as the touch of the tongue so from skin to tongue these are all senses and these senses are gates of the very complex information system of this of of human body human body is is a collection of of infinity number of 
or bits of information and uh, that information and the matter in it put together is a realization but hegemonic the dominance the structures that are around us whether of rituals or of religion or of caste or of color or of you know beliefs which are untested deny you this realization well uh, what I say is one of the possibilities you can also explore more possibilities but we have to see this in you know the poem is is traveling at the same time giving us the context of India spirituality yoga nation caste human existence modernity contemporaneity because it is a contemporary discourse also of meditation so it goes uh, you will have known almost every no okay or if you thought more worriedly about taste you would discount it as the touch of the tongue or you may recollect how a gentle touch how a gentle touch caress change your life multifold so th these words are now very soft and uh, and uh, building the environment of human love and human intimacy closeness which is the night so a gentle touch a caress change your life multifold and you were never the person you should have been so transformation liminality here the word i use the word liminality liminality is when you you pass through phases your earlier existence is transformed into new existence and this happens love once you are in love love recreates you similarly other emotions will also recreate you positively or negatively feeling with your skin so i read this or if you thought more wildly about taste you would discount it as the touch of the tongue or you may recollect how a gentle touch a caress changed your life multifold and you were never the person you should have been feeling with your skin was perhaps the first of the senses now feeling with your skin was perhaps the first of your senses very deep it may be when you are inside the womb which is a dedicated customized environment when you are delivered it's all through skin and so the 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 first of the senses the reality always remained with you so you have this 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 touch and that's the reality now as the poem begins with the question and then talks about have you ever experienced that wall white washed wall blank in meditation and 
as the poem goes down it reaches to a very spiritual dimension which emerges out of the out of touch out of the sense of the skin and very primal which happened to a human body very very early in the earliest you will have known almost every knowledgeable thing you have you will have known almost every knowledgeable thing about the charms and the temptation that touch could hold so here you have the word temptation charms knowledgeable you will have known almost every knowledgeable thing about the charms and the temptation that touch could hold to the role the function of touch nature of touch and the epistemology of touch that is how it helps you acquire knowledge but you will never have known the touch but you will never you will never have <clears throat> known the touch the taboo is the touch a taboo is it something that has been denied again this has several layers this touch may be the touch you see how many kinds of touch we all know and they are infinity in number and some of them are always stored in our mind but she is talking about the taboo but how but you will never have known the touch you will never have known the touch the taboo to your transcendence to your transcendence transcendence is the in the very beginning of the poem you have that do you reach in transcendence when you meditate are you able to transcend your thoughts and here the taboo you will never have known the touch the taboo to your transcendence when crystallized when crystallized given a shape a crystal in cast in cast so cast crystallizes the whole idea of your body's social being to your transcendence when you crystallized in caste was a paraphernalia of undeserving hate now this taboo this crystallized in caste this object was stored in the paraphernalia in different kind of tools that you have of undeserving hate and you were told that you are untouchable and you kept that crystal with your existence and you were deprived of all the touches all kinds of you see possible ways of 
understanding the world. So the poem ends at a note where it celebrates the significance of touch as a gate of knowledge, gate of understanding, gate of letting all kinds of possible touch be felt by somebody but caste can deny this and it denied to lakhs of people, crores of people. So this is uh, the poem and uh, I think uh, in the text we can see various uh, examples from where we can pick up threads to construct more about its existence or how do we see this poem uh, in the unit and also in Indian English writing. Thank you. What I'm planning is the next uh, interaction in which I will read other points also and we will build uh, our understanding of higher order thinking out of these four or five points and then we'll see how we can answer questions which emerge out of these points. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe.